Hello everybody, welcome, welcome back again to my channel, it's your girl Peshwarya. It's another day, another video guys, don't forget to subscribe for me, don't forget to share my video guys, and thank you for your support. So guys, in today's video, I have a rather uh, a, a sad story with me, of a young lady here, a mom of two kids. A mom of two kids who have been uh, in bed, bedridden because of the broken legs for many, many years. Since 2007, since 2007, she has been in bed because of uh, this condition. First, she was told that she had cancer, which was uh, the rita and realized it wasn't cancer she did a chemotherapy for a very long time before they realized it wasn't cancer and uh, because of the chemotherapy and all that process of cancer treatment her legs became weak that the bones keep on breaking all the time so currently her leg has been broken twice right now her leg is broken twice at the knee and at the joint and for very for many many years she hasn't received any treatment yet so the pain is killing her this lady i tell you she is crying of pain very much i saw her in my own eyes and the pain is really, really something else. She is crying of pain because as you can see her currently, her leg is broken. The broken, uh, the broken leg, uh, it's actually paining her a lot. So guys, as you can see her, she has been in bed for a very long time. As I told you, she is a mom of two. This is her condition. As you can see, she is very weak. She can't even do anything for herself. So they call up the neighbors so that they can support her. So this bandage you see here, it is just uh, something she has lapped. And there is a small wood inside the leg here. As you can see, guys, there are a very small wood. That is the bone, the broken bone that is trying to find a way to get out, I think. Because the bone is inside and broken. She has not gotten any treatment because of lack of money. And when she go to the uh, public hospital, they keep on telling her, there is no, there is no, she, she needs to take some medicine to make her bones grow. She needs to take calcium uh, medicines and stuff because her body is very weak for surgeries and stuff. But because she's actually not well and she can't go to work, her husband actually left her at the hospital when the bill was too high at 2007, the husband left her at the hospital, which is actually a very bad thing. And it's a painful story for her, uh, how her husband left her in the hospital. So currently she doesn't have anyone to help. And the girl you saw here, this girl over here, she is the firstborn and she is currently in form two, but she is not studying right now because of the school fee and stuff. The good people maybe sometimes come and help her go back to school, but right now she is at home. The mom doesn't have anyone to look after her and the girl can't do it alone. So most of the time she keep on calling the neighbors to come and help. When morning comes, they get their mom outside the house, put her at the beds out there until night. They take him, they take her again inside the house. So they 
the mom actually is struggling a lot because she can't do anything for herself. The girl had to stop school in form two so that she can take care of her mom because as you can see, she can't be left alone at her condition. She can't even turn herself. She can't even do anything for herself. So the girl had to stop schooling so that they can she can take care of her. They have a small brother. And the brother story is also actually very sad because I was told after the mom got sick and she was actually very sick, the the son and the or the brother started getting uh, depressed. So she did she didn't want to see anyone, not even her mom. She kept herself locked in the house all day until today she doesn't want to go outside the house we are trying actually to tell her to come out and talk to us and she has refused so because of her mom condition the boy got depressed so she can't get outside the house she doesn't want to see anyone she doesn't go to school she doesn't go outside so she is just like she is mentally ill for now and this is the condition of this family. So guys, if you are there, this mom over here, this is the boy, guys. You can see her. She doesn't even want to look at the camera. She stays all day long in the house, locking herself inside there. And this happened after her mom got sick. I think she got stressed because of her mom condition. And the hunger in the house, no food. No one to take care of them. <laughs> you can see she just he just ran away. So the girl is actually struggling to take care of her mom and her brother. And that's my story, guys, for today. Bye.